And then we have to defeat four ducks in Syrup Castle. Now, this is a tricky level. You gotta really choose your paths carefully. We don't want to go here yet. We want to go over here. Don't go through that metal door yet either. Pick this door first. It's the ghost room. Oh, I forgot. I thought you could duck over these guys, but you can't. At least, not very easily. <sighs> These ghosts. I was trying to f concentrate. I guess I shouldn't worry about getting those coins. I just well, I already got the treasure, and thank goodness because, like I said, this is a tricky level for getting the money. That's what you do there, and then there's actually is even more funds over there, more coins, but and that's the ducky we have to get rid of. You could try to crush all these blocks, but truthfully, there's no reason. Just drop down. That sound means you have killed one of the four duckies that are needed to be defeated. Defeat three more, and you will achieve victory! Yeah, okay, so there's the coins. Uh, I don't think a dash, if you will, or bash is the way to go. Alright, and I don't want to go down there yet, so you're going to flip the switch. And to flip the switch, you just come over here. Jump that. Now watch out because this is actually tricky. There. Because that platform falls right under your feet and if you're not quick, you won't be able to jump. Alright, so we're actually going to come down to three first. I like three better. Right, now I actually messed up a little bit here, but I did still manage to do certain things. I think I've got it. Uh, I need to just move a couple more blocks though. Because you remember being able to pick up these blocks. There we go. You can grab some coins on both sides. I'm not going to take them all. And you can get even more money right in here. Turn here. Nothing. There's nothing you can get on that side, but... The little room's not very tall, despite what you think. Oh, come on. As you can see, there's the roof. And there's nothing on this side. I, I did check this room pretty thoroughly to be sure I wasn't missing something. So yeah, you just toss those guys in there and get a lot of money. That's one of the best ways to get some funds. Alright, there's the second ducky. This one's a little trickier. You have to actually stomp him, ground pound him, whatever you want to call it. Not easy to do. Right, thank goodness we're through there. Oh, uh, before I forget, uh, you guys are probably wondering, and I will show. There are no coins. I don't remember for sure if there's anything on them. I think it's both the same on both sides, but I could be mistaken. Looks to be the case. It's a tough thing to say. But as far as I knew... Alright, now we climb back up here. Number two is another ghost room, but not nearly as bad. This one's an easy ghost room. You can get a bunch of coins right there. Now we actually need to turn into Zombie Oreo this time. And then we want to drop down all the way here. And yeah, there's actually a couple things we can grab. I don't really know much on these blocks here. I think it's just to show something. Number three. Bird. Duck, stop, stop, stop. Alright, we can drop. And that's all there is to it. You do, of course, have to do this to get out of here. 
Yeah, you can't just jump that up to that platform. You gotta smash that guy. Okay, and like I said, there's a bunch of extra coins there if you need them. If you're not very good at playing the treasure game on, shall we say, normal, like I can do sometimes. Now I just go for the last one, and the treasure room here is the most annoying, which is why it's good to have plenty of money spare. Because this level, you may not... You probably won't have enough money for the map, if you want to get the piece, unless you've saved up. Which, fortunately, I have done. Final piece. Drop down, I'll wait for the mouse to come. He will, uh... I guess you have to actually do this, I forget sometimes. There we go. Dang it, they both disappeared on me. Ow. To get this, you have to do this. And I mean, that is just absurd what they ask you to do. Get out of here. Treasure room. There's your treasure. It is an orb. Yeah, or black pearl of some sort. I came here and I uh, lost well, quite a bit of money. Thing is, you have to hit them closer to this side, uh, to a certain side to make them go that way. I can't believe I did that so well. I made that look much easier than it truly is, guys. Well, <laughs> let me tell you. Come on, mouse. I want to get the mouse to go the opposite way first. So you can grab a little funds right there. Have the mouse keep coming. And then you can jump up. So if you're a little low on funds, you can grab some coins there. And there's not a whole lot of coins in this. It's really not that hard to get to this ducky. But to get to the treasure room, it's just absurd. Now the fourth ducky is pretty easy. Just have to knock him down and smack him against the wall or bash him. That sound was my cup. I had to take a sip. I don't mind that being picked up. Yet again, another map piece. I will see you in the next chapter, guys, which is a fun level if I must say so myself. This level, find the hidden door. Ooh, I love this level. This level is full of secrets. Oh, this is one of my favorite levels in the game. It's actually next to another level that we will play in a bonus area. There's about five different, no, six different levels today. I have a particular fancy to. This is one of them. Ha! Defeated. Bang. And yeah, it's pretty tricky if you don't know what you're looking for. Yeah, as it turns out, there's nothing here that you need. So jump up, and jump up, and we're gonna slam that down. Ground pound right here. Also, you can do this if you so desire, but you can't break that to flood, make flood or anything, so. And then you know you're on a trek when that happens. Room number two. We're first gonna come over here. I'm gonna turn that guy around so I can smack him. You really don't need anybody. I couldn't remember if there was something there. I think it's just access. Yeah, right here. Here's a secret. There's and just to prove things. I like to prove points. Nothing there. That's not too bad. Let's see. And then you come over here. And get that guy. However, we're not gonna go that way just yet. You wanna go uh, this way. This level is notorious for secrets. 
Yeah, be sure to check around here. Okay. First cool little bonus room. It's a little tricky, but otherwise not too tough. Oh, and that's just an annoyance. And of course that's a trick, so... But I'm showing you anyway. This level's pretty famous for these things. Uh, the uh, spike trick on the floor, where you think you can jump down, but you can't. This level has a little bit of a, a knack for that. I'm starting to notice a few traps, but it is Syrup's Castle, so... Oop, give it that guy before he smacks me. No, I didn't want to grab on that yet, because I want to get that coin. So first, we're going to come over here and grab that, but... Now we can come over here. See, that can't be ground pounded, so let's go this way. Let's try up here first. Nothing there. Maybe this way? Don't forget to ground pound, guys. Always check. That's right, we can get a few coins here. This level isn't very good for money, but it is fun to explore. For a first timer, this is a fun level. And as usual, check for secrets often. First thing I'm gonna do is come over to this. Oh man, there's secrets everywhere. There's really no reason to worry about bashing all those blocks, and I'm not worried about missing one coin. But that's a good room to get a lot of change. It's a good chunk. So yeah, be sure to check around for secrets pretty often. Alright, that's that. So now we're gonna come up here, we're gonna smash this way. Into this room. Can't be caught though like that. I'm actually proving myself to be a lot more skilled than I usually am. I remember getting hit quite a bit. So ground pound there, you can't ground pound that. I'm just gonna tell you right now. You just smash all the way over here. There's nothing there. So we're gonna go this way now. And we're still gonna keep going this way. To get more coins! There's a decent amount of coins, but with the treasure game you tend to lose a bit. Now, I don't know if I ever showed you, but these guys don't get killed, obviously, by spikes, so... I wasn't trying to actually do that, but... Yeah, that was intentional hits. Alright, let's make him. I don't believe there's anything there. As far as my memory room serves, this room is. There's just uh, one path. So yeah, you smack this. Just go this way. However, oh, I, I thought there was a secret there. Alright, we're going to go and ground pound here. I think this is the bonus. I believe so, anyway. This is a good secret right here. You can get a lot of money up there. I think it's a nice chunk of change. Oh man, I really want to get into Royal Land 3. The things we'll be able to do, the secrets we'll uncover. Oh, there is nothing there, but remember there's this. There's nothing that way. Go this way. Look familiar. I at first was confused because I didn't think there was anything that way. That there is. You can jump up this way for even more spare change. Oh, and uh, you can smack that as well. 
You can smack all the way across, and that does a bit of damage. It does tend to make these guys drop in the water a lot. I don't remember which way to go, so I guess I'll just choose a direction. Okay, we're gonna go this way. You drop down here. Here we get two coins, and I believe that's the goal. Oh, and there's also three more coins. There's actually a decent amount of money here after all. I guess because I never really played it, so. I always pick the wrong path. I always pick the right, and I should go left. The right path compared to the left. But I also go this way. Then we go here, and of course, there's the goal again. Don't get hit. Alright, he's taken care of. Can grab these coins. Yeah, might as well take all the money we can get. Now, that's actually always tricked me. I never thought to do this. That's why I had a little bit of trouble finding this stuff. Uh, now this is the treasure room. Nothing too tough about that. As you can see, there is a... I don't know what you want to call that. An arm... something we guard? Arm guard, maybe? I don't really know. It's beyond my expertise determining these treasures sometimes. Maybe if I'd played the colored version of this game. That, my friends, is the last of the secrets in this level. So let's head for the goal. Hup. And up. We are closely approaching the end of this very quickly, I see. And this is the end. Do, 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 do. So that level is all based on the secret passages. The next map piece, not too hard. I'll probably grind, well, the fifth level we have to play then anyway again, so 